Check this out. 12 strange U.S. geography facts no one told you about. The U.S. enjoys some very impressive statistics. 50 states, 325.7 million people, 14,146 McDonald's restaurants. Oh yes, and some truly wacky geography facts. Get ready because some of these geographic anomalies can be mind-boggling. Keep watching to learn which site to visit if you want to be in four places at once, how Americans can be trapped in Canada, and how everyone on Earth could fit into the state of Texas. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the Bright Side of Life. Counting down from number 12. Buildings in New York have their own zip codes. Manhattan is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. It is so unbelievably crowded that there are over 200 zip codes in Manhattan alone, and there are over 40 buildings that are large enough to have their own zip codes. The Empire State Building, the General Motors Building, the Chrysler Building, Park Avenue Plaza, and the MetLife Building are some of the lucky few that can claim their own zip code. Number 11. Alaska is everywhere. Alaska is the westernmost, easternmost, and northernmost state. Wait, what? If you look at a two-dimensional map, it makes immediate sense for it to be the westernmost and northernmost, but how could it be the easternmost? Just take a look at the globe. As you can see, Alaska is pretty close to Russia. The state stretches so far west that it reaches into the eastern hemisphere. So, if you want to experience the northern, western, and eastern hemispheres, simply head to Alaska. Just make sure you bring a really warm jacket. Number 10. You can walk from the US to Russia. Walking from California, Oregon, or Washington to Russia would be impossible unless you have magic powers that allow you to walk on water. But it's a very real possibility from Alaska. During the winter, the small area between Alaska and Russia freezes over. In the middle of the Bering Strait are two islands. Big Diomede is part of Russian territory, and Little Diomede is part of Alaskan territory. The distance between the two is just 2.4 miles. Technically, you can walk from Little Diomede to Big Diomede, or from the US to Russia, and tell all your friends about how you visited another country. If you do decide to brave the freezing cold for this trip, just know that it can be a dangerous journey that isn't really recommended. Number 9. Canada in California The population of Canada is 36.7 million, but California still houses more people than the entire country of Canada. California is the most populated state in the US, with 39.5 million people. It's followed by Texas, Florida, and New York in that order. If being around too many people isn't your preference, then Vermont or Wyoming might be for you, as they're some of the least populated states. Number 8. The Longest River in the U.S. The Mississippi River spans 2,348 miles. That's like the distance from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Boston, Massachusetts. Mississippi is the third largest watershed and the fourth longest river in the world. It would take 90 days for a drop to travel from the beginning of the river to the end. It's that long. And its size isn't the only amazing thing about this river. It's home to 360 species of fish, 326 species of birds, 145 species of amphibians, and 50 species of mammals. The river is also the daily source of water for 62 cities in the United States, keeping around 18 million Americans well hydrated. Number 7. The shortest river in the world The U.S. can boast about being home to the fourth longest river in the world, but it also has the smallest. The Roe River is located in Montana, and it's just 201 feet long. It's about one and a quarter times the size of an Olympic swimming pool. The Guinness World Records had it down as the shortest river in the world until they discontinued the category. 
This little river is like a small oasis, surrounded by grounds that are perfect for picnicking and rocking views. Number 6. The Longest Coastline Which state do you think has the longest coastline? Top contenders would be Texas, Florida, and California. But it's Alaska again! The Alaskan coastline covers 6,640 miles and is actually longer than the coastline for the rest of the states combined. So, if you love the cold sea and frozen beaches, Alaska is the place to be. Number 5. The tallest mountain in the world Yes, Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world, with an elevation of 29,029 feet above sea level. But technically, the tallest mountain is part of the United States. Mauna Kea in Hawaii is an enormous mountain that's about 33,500 feet tall. So why is Mount Everest considered the tallest and not Mauna Kea? It's because half of Mauna Kea is hidden under the sea. Mauna Kea is the highest mountain from base to peak. To make things a little more impressive, Mauna Kea is also a dormant volcano, which last erupted about 4,000 years ago. Let's just hope this massive volcano remains dormant. Number 4. Point Roberts – America or Canada Point Roberts is United States territory, part of Whatcom County, Washington. The small territory is a geographic anomaly, since it can only be accessed by boat from the United States. If you need to go in by land, you'll need to head in through Canada. For Washington residents living there, it must be baffling to live with a Washington zip code in a location that's basically inside British Columbia. To attend the nearest high school, students must go through four border crossings. But the residents seem to like the border crossings, as they provide a lot of security. As long as the residents can keep track of whether they're American or Canadian, Point Roberts seems to be a nice, secure place to live, if a little inconvenient. Number 3. Four corners. Four states. Well, how can you be in four places at once? Unless you're on a sci-fi show, that would seem like an impossibility. But you can do this in the US. Just head over to Four Corners, a rare area in America where four states meet. Southeast Utah, Northeast Arizona, Southwest Colorado, and Northwest New Mexico intersect in a right angle. Thankfully, no strange anomalies occur at this spot, so don't expect any aliens. If you head to Four Corners, feel free to tell your friends you visited those four states. Number 2. Border States Now, two states in the U.S. don't share borders with any other U.S. states. Do you know which ones? If you thought of Hawaii and Alaska, huh, you're right! Those two states might be rather lonely, though Alaska does have a neighbor. This is a big difference from Missouri and Tennessee, each with a whopping eight neighboring states. Missouri is surrounded by Iowa, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. Tennessee is surrounded by Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Missouri. Missouri and Tennessee sound like rather cozy locations. Number 1. Texas is bigger than you can imagine. Now, in New York City, the city stretches upward to make room for the 8.6 million inhabitants. If the world's population lived in such a condensed manner, they would only cover 250,404 square miles. Since Texas is 268,597 square miles, it means that, hypothetically speaking, the world's population of 7.53 billion people could all fit in the state of Texas. That's seriously impressive for one state. Though it might be a bit crowded, Texas would be a prime spot for holding the world's future reunions. So, tell us, Brightsiders, has this given you a good reason to take out your suitcase and travel to a U.S. state? Let us know which ones in the comment section. 
Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side.